Good evening, everyone. First of all, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to say a few words at this wonderful occasion. Even though I am neither a doctor nor a sagodari, like those who are sitting here. Um, you all know Dr. Jayalakshmi, who has uh, several achievements to her credit, who has uh, cured thousands of patients, who has uh, groomed hundreds of doctors who are very successful today, who has taught 100 batches of students, who has spoken on television, written several articles in the media, and has received many awards, written many books, is extremely successful today with her achievements. This is a person that you all know. But I'm going to speak about a lady who I have seen growing up, a super mom and a super woman. Dr. Jayalakshmi is from a very conservative Tam Tamil Brahmin family and from a generation where the role of a woman was primarily at home. But she was very ambitious and she wanted to do great achievements. She wanted to achieve a lot of things and do a lot of good to a lot of people. She was the first generation graduate and the first generation working woman in the family. She got married even before she completed her graduation. And she had to shoulder the responsibility of being the first daughter-in-law in a large joint family. On top of that, she was still continuing her job as a teacher she had three children and had to raise all of us. But this did not stop her from pursuing her ambitions. She continued studying. You saw the list of degrees and diplomas and prof professional qualifications she has added to herself, all of which after marriage, after children, and some of them even after retirement. She continued her pursuit. When sometimes life decides to test you when you are struggling and juggling with so many issues already yourself. And for her, that came in the form of health issues. She had severe asthma attack over several years. She went to all sorts of doctors, tried all sorts of treatments, and finally realized that the only thing she is getting from those treatments are side effects and absolutely no cure for herself. But this again did not make her less strong. This did not make her slow down. In fact, it made her pursuit even stronger. From her education, she decided to start learning alternative medicines and then master so many of these therapies over the years. While she was doing all these things, she never compromised on a single responsibility at home. She used to rise early prepare breakfast and lunch for all of us, feed her husband, children, pack lunch for everyone, and rush to work all before 8 a.m. in the morning. I think she used to be on wheels all the time, always on her toes. In fact, I used to think that, you know, she was the fastest eater. She never had time to enjoy a single meal. She's never watched a single movie. She never tried to entertain herself. And throughout, throughout her life, she has tried to be a great mother and a great wife. In fact, we used to have six-day working week those days. Sunday was the only rest day. But every single Sunday, she used to go and attend classes after preparing everything for us. We never complained because she was the best cook in the world. Not one day has she told us that go and eat outside because I am busy today with my classes. Not even one day. And she was always back home when we come back from school to help us with our studies, to take care of us. And there were many days she used to finish her housework and sit up and study late in the night for her own education. And while she was pursuing all these, she was also a great daughter, was a pillar of support for her parents, her siblings, and her other relatives. She had no less challenges at school. She was a teacher and then became a headmistress. She had students who were very rough and tough because they came from orphanages and from uh, the lower socioeconomic class. But she dealt with them very well and she had them wrapped around her fingers. So this was a superwoman that I have seen growing up. As Sir Thomas Edison had once said, 
Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. You all know about the inspiration, how great her success is today. But I wanted to say how much she has struggled for this and what hard work she's put in to get where she is today. I hope that the legacy she leaves will not only inspire her children and grandchildren, but also several generations to come. And today I'm sure she is happy that her family is here to celebrate her success and her achievements. But I'm sure she also misses her son, my brother, who is away in the US and not able to join her. Even though he's not able to be here, his thoughts are very much with her. And he's asked me to share a few words with her on his behalf. This is from Srikant. With her tireless energy and determination, mom has been a great inspiration for me throughout my life. She is a born teacher and many have benefited from her knowledge and wisdom. No matter the problem, <coughs> illness or ailment, there is always a solution on offer. Congrats and felicitations to mom on this momentous occasion. <laughs> Last but not the least, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to all her students, assistants and co-doctors, all of you who have supported her throughout. My brother and I are several thousands of miles away. My sister does a great job of keeping a check on my parents almost every day. But in addition, it feels me very good that there is, she has this extended family in all of you. And it's not just the respect that you show her, but the love and affection that you shower on her that makes me feel that she is in good hands. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. With that, I conclude. Thank you. Sri Vidya, you kindly remain standing. Now the time has come when we will start honoring the students, actually. It was Dr. J. Lakshmi's uh, idea that she wanted her students to be honored in on this day. When actually this is the day when we have to honor her. But she is so generous that even when we are honoring her, she wants that, no, 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 my students have to be honored. So now we are just call upon a few of the students to come and receive from Dr. Sri Vidya. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Mahalakshmi. Dr. Brinda Jairaman. Dr. Akshita. Dr. Usha, and Dr. Gauri Swarna. Thank you, Sri Vidya. Next, we request Gopal sir to distribute a few of the prizes and awards to the students. Dr. Sundar Ram. Padmavati. Vidyulata. Dr. Vidyulata. Dr. Said Kalim. <laughs> <laughs> 